you're confusing. <laughs> me thinks a woman now, a little bit scary to men. Oh no, scary. This, I saw this girl one day, when I'm a sister in from a long time. I want to know how when women see long time friend them, yeah, scream, run, go jump up and hug up. So she see me, she said, I'm done! So, jump, hug up, spin. When she comes and she put her down, she said, long time I'm see you look good and thing. I said, well, you look nice and thing, turn all right. And, and she said, oh, you have been talking to somebody yet and them look for you away. And because anything that they do, so if them wipe them eye, you wipe your eye too. And them start chewing bubble gum, you check your breath. You realize that? Anybody do that? So in the middle of what she was saying, she... So I said, what? She said, don't move, don't move, don't move. I said, Hannah, go so. We as Jamaican, you can't tell with that. <laughs> don't move me, move now. <laughs> Worse, we see our reach. We are reach for. <laughs> so you know, so you're not shaking half, you know. So I saw me sitting up and I'm shaking you know. up. I just said, no, no, stop, stop, stop. I said, what, stop, what, stop, what, stop, what? She just said, no, me see something drop a grown people. But it look like it's stunted. You know, farty leg. Like it's stuff. When me see farty leg, I may lift up my boot because me decide say me I go kill that. Yeah. Oh, if you jump on me, I mean I know you. Me I go rub out your life. You see when me get the first one so it no move. Me go so it's still in the hole. Me see a what is. It's a big stone, me go for now, come here, I got murdered. She said, no, me say, stop, say, no, why, your pet? <laughs> me see the girl go so, to pick it up. Me say, no, man, it's a fair pet. I must she crawl off her. When me see she take it up and dust it off, me say, no, it's a family friend. <laughs> me see the girl comes and dust it off and go so, but you can't do me eyelash down. Yes, but these accessories the women are wearing, when them take it off, it look like something alive, you know. You see a girl one time, breeze blowing on my summer seat of flatter. It's when you go so, you don't say, catch me. See me, huh? Come and take that wave to me. Me don't know about nobody. When they sleep, like, me go sleep already. Jump asleep <laughs> beside this girl. Well, we just sleep before her. So you know, so something I wake up in the night because something happened. I wake up in the night because I feel that energy in her room. Something. The else the inner the room apart from me and she. But you know, so we're not afraid of things. We're not afraid of things. So I'm not to jump up quick. I just open my eye. And I look. Now how our room set up, the mirror, the right in front of me, that face me. When me look in at the mirror, me see smaddy, I look for me. <laughs> me catch me free, me hear me heart, I go do 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 is when you jump up at the time, the doppy see you. Yeah. So I'm not trying to frighten the doppy. <laughs> if the doppy in there, I just say, go and do your thing. I say, go and easy. <laughs> rest me and rest. So I need to just turn my head up. And go so to her. She said, open her arm and say, don't jump up, don't jump up. She said, oh, what? She said, somebody else in here. <laughs> she said, where? She said, look over my shoulder to uh, look in the mirror. She said, she take time, ease up. She said, go slow, go slow, go slow. 
is when she look up in her mirror, she kiss her teeth, jump up. I mean, we get really. <laughs> She have the wig on the weekend. <laughs> In a dark, he look like Smaddy. Anybody in here working at a bank? Yeah. yeah, over there, sir. Yeah. If bank people are honest, you don't know. You see, half town you left out of the bank. Half bank door lock. Ah, junk, or whatever. You know? In front of Uno. Then go on like then nice and then sweet, but as the last customer left, they remember how of her mouth did think. They remember how the only had no sense and a one balabalo. But on this very day, people, a day after COVID, so you know, say, bank door open. It is kind of quiet. There is this little girl named Adrini. Now, if you hear Adrini speak, she has the most darling voice. Fear her voice to not go over like two or three decibels. All right, listen, we don't know how you measure voice, but whatever it is, you know, go over that. She'll be like, hi, how are you today? Hi, my name is Adrini. How may I help? I so she go. Sweetest thing you can ever think of. All when bank door lock, she's still sweet. Hmm. People, they never did cover all I rule them with me because me and you know, say, if somebody like bust a fart, me can't laugh out loud while the people them still in her bank. I dream it there and she said, Me no know, it looked like she had a whole in a long time. I know some of you are going to pretend as though you don't know. But if you can be honest with yourself, somehow know a whole in it right now. <laughs> I'm a beg you no, holy. I dream it, daddy. And people, I cannot make these things up. Me not tell lie. Me just see when I dream it deep, so. I'm here. <laughs> Lord Jesus, he come out. My supervisor called me around her back. <laughs> I'm enough to tell you the rest of that the story. But people, I say, you know what, Curly? This is not all about money. Sometimes you can give back. So I decided to do a little work at one of those infirmary kind. Of, well, it was more like a disability. Uh, institution and people I was very offended when the matron feel like say, she did fit tell me say Mr. Roberts I know what you do professionally but you must understand that things here are a little sensitive you cannot say anything any or anything to or in front of the members, because it would be offensive. Honestly, people, I bite my tongue, come here, tell you, me want to chase her off, you know. Because I'm a very professional person. I am a very sensitive person. Why would I want to make fun of anybody's disability? But you see, you, me could have did keep that job there long, you know. But you are one little wicked receptionist girl where you walk in front, you know. I mean, no one said she set me up, you know, people. Because people may tell us, me good, good run her back, you know. And the lady come call me and say, Mr. Robert, 
there is a gentleman at the counter to you. Me say, me? She say, yes. People me need to work there long. No gentleman can come there to me. But me very professional. And people me walk up to the counter. Very professional. Me think me did all I wear a jacket to do with me professional. And I said, you know, I make me wipe my face. So I make me really look professional too. You know? I said, good afternoon, sir. How may I help you? People, the man looked for me like he confused. Like he must say, but me not tell them who me come to. You know, say this, you know, but I, I look at the panny face. Like he must say, but me not tell them who me come to already. Who oh, then send this Aida to me? Adam looked at the, look, the, the panny face. He man looked at me and the man said, Attempt to me, Taran, Timton, but I thought somebody turned to taller. Every time I tell that story, I saw my always want me to repeat, oh no, God, hell. <laughs> People, I, as a, hey, me say, the man look for me and the man say, I tell to tell me Taran Timpton, but I thought somebody turned to taller. <laughs> Everything where the man says start with T. And people, me just go so. <laughs> and people, me are telling you, if you don't think the coronavirus catch it, if you don't think the flu catch it, me don't know when it have, but me catch it. <laughs> After me take your breath up. I said, do you tell your time to tea? <laughs> oh no, God, hell. People. You see when the security, all when the security had dragged me out and I looked on the reception and they said, Ted Dial, you're 10 times my Tio Tai, I'm going to talk to you up now, you're Tio. As I peruse the room, I realize there are lots of beautiful women inside here. Who run the world? Yes. Who run the world? Yes. Yeah. But ladies, I have something kind of concerned about. Why not put on all this makeup and all these different things? Who not trick the way as a man them? Man and man, if you not agree, make some noise, man. Because here we go. If you not there with one of we, you don't know what I get. If we're ugly, we're ugly. If we have little looks, we have little looks. And I eat that. The most we can do is shave with airline and I eat that, don't it? Yeah. But Uno now is a different kettle of fish. So I take a young lady and decided for date her. Care out upon the weekend. You know what I mean? Go down upon the coast. Go out and we party and we have a good little time. You know what I mean? But then we reach inside now, reach back into the room and thing. My girl sat and dressed. And it's a totally different person. Because she took off her ear. And she put it down. I said, all right, you don't look too bad. We can work with that. But then I said, she comes up and put it down. Kind of frightened me, but I said, all right, we can work with that. Me even said, she comes and take off her underwear and the bottom get flat. I <laughs> said, fine, we can work with that. But what I never expect is when she goes so boom, and take off the foot. <laughs> Me 
But the good thing, I say, I work with that. Because at least you won't walk out of my life. <laughs> but then, me have expectations say certain things are going to go on. So, you know, I try to get romantic and, you know, we're there in the room and I try to get, you know, get with adulting going on. But when we get to the meet of the matter, you know, and things say, I go bingo. My girl shook me off and said, Ryan, stop now. It's as if you're not in touch with my emotional needs. Is that, is that all you want? I said, yeah. <laughs> but nothing never go on for me. So I said, can't go, so you know. But well, anyways, next day I said, you know what? Let me buy a gun, to buy a gun. So I carry and say, yo. He said, before we leave, I need us to stop in the, the gift shop. Can you know them fancy all-inclusive hotel? Them have them fancy gift shop and everything is expensive. So I'm going and I said, babes, that dress to look nice, you know. She said, yeah. I said, yeah, man, get it, man. She took out the dress and said, oh, my God, Ryan, I never expect that. I said, yeah, man, you, you deserve it. I said, but you can't just wear the dress alone. You need a purse to go with it, babe. She said, oh, my God, Ryan, you, you, you're too much. I said, no, man, you look good. But no outfit is complete without a nice shoes to go with it, right? She said, Ryan, oh, my God, you're a gift from heaven. <laughs> oh, my God. So I go to a boom and reach at the cashier. Start ring up the items. Bill come up to 25 grand. She turned and she looked for me and said, okay, babes, go ahead. I said, really? Apparently, you are not in touch with my financial needs. So we go so now, we go so now, but when I leave, we come back at town and one bag of cussing, one bag of argument. So me can't take the whole for talking and nagging, nagging in my ears. You understand? So I go so now, I say, you're more up and reach at town and let you off, you know, because this never go on me, expect it. So I start speed down the highway. But of course, as per usual, you have Jamaican police. We always look at food. And pull me up. So I go so now, pull over. Officer come up to me and say, Mr. Sar, you see this? You realize how fast you were going? You were going 75 miles an hour in a 50 mile zone. I said, hold on the officer. Hold on, man. I know I made a speed, but the fastest I could be going a while ago is 55 miles an hour. Hear my girl. Ryan, stop lying. Because you know, say that goes 75 miles a while ago. And I'm going to tell you, Ryan, slow down, Ryan, slow down. You never slow down. And see it and how the police stop you. And we'll give you a ticket for it. So I turn and I give her a dirty look. The officer went further and said, Mr. Sir, I'm going to have to give you a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt. I said, hold on, officer, hold on. You know, says when you stopped me a while ago, I know you would have wanted the license and registration. So I pull me, pull my seatbelt for lean over to the glove compartment, take out the documents and give you. My girl. Ryan, make us a lie. <laughs> Ryan, from your drive off, Mr. Ryan, put on your seatbelt. Ryan, put on your seatbelt. Ryan, put on your seatbelt. And you fail to put it on, Ryan. And see there now, the policeman stop you and will give you a ticket. All because he won't listen to me. <laughs> my turn, I'm a girl, another dirty look. The officer went further and said, Mr. Sir, you know what you do for yourself, you know, but I'm going to have to give you a third ticket for the broken taillight I saw at the back of the vehicle. I said, hold on, officer, hold on. I mean by broken taillight. Officer, if the light broken, the taillight broken, more than likely, it just break. Because I would know that I have a broken taillight and don't fix it. Without hesitation, go to the pan. Jesus, take the case and give me the pillow. Ryan, in about two weeks now, I'm going to tell you about the broke up till like Ryan. I say, Ryan, fix it. Ryan, fix it. Ryan, fix it. And you fail to fix it, Ryan. Make it a lie. <laughs> By this now, I couldn't take no more. So I turn and say, oh man, yo, shut your mouth, man. Now the officer, he stepped back and said, John, no star. My girl, I saw this man talk to you. Here she no, officer, it's only when I'm drunk. <laughs> this is my time, Jamaica. I love you. Big up.